71-year-old Jean-Jacques Savin started the new year in style. Uh, so he set off to sail across the Atlantic in a barrel. Yes, a barrel. Okay, so this isn't your stereotypical barrel, but it isn't exactly a boat shape neither. Uh, it measures three meters long and is two meters across, so in fact it's a pretty decent size, um, but yeah, really isn't the most hydrodynamic shape around. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's made from resin-coated plywood and has been heavily reinforced to resist waves and attacks from orcas. The barrel also features a kitchen, sleeping bunk, and, and has lots of room for storage and probably a jacuzzi. It even features a port hole in the floor so he can look at the fish passing below. Yeah, or, you know, the, the orcas. Yeah. Is it a big thing getting attacked by orcas in the Atlantic? Or if you're in a barrel, yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this isn't really a barrel. It's just one of those glass bottom yachts. <laughs> <laughs> That's just put on a little bit too much holiday weight after <laughs> Christmas. Uh, so Savin uh, is hoping that the barrel will carry him naturally from the Canary Islands where he set off to the Caribbean without the need for sails or oars or anything. It's just relying on currents and stuff. Yeah, so he's hoping that he'll arrive in Barbados, uh, but he, he will settle for Martinique or Guadeloupe. Yeah. Um, well, it's going to be even bad when he rocks up, it's like, oh, I'm in Margate. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, it's a hard life for some, isn't it, Mark? Yeah. So hard. But he reckons this trip will take around about three months to complete um, at the two or three key kilometers per hour uh, he's actually moving at. Along the way, he plans to drop markers for the JCOM Ops. That's a thing, apparently, International Marine Observatory to help the oceanographers study the currents. He's also be becoming a study himself on the effects on solitude in closed confinement. Yeah, yeah, three months by yourself in a three metre long barrel. Hey, it must get quite lonely. Well, in the studio when I'm by myself <laughs> for 10 minutes, I'm rocking uh, silently. Okay, to top it off, he even has wine on board. Such a hard life! That will be studied. Uh, he's carrying a Bordeaux, uh, which will be compared afterwards with one kept on land to determine the effects of months spent sort of tossed about in the waves backwards and forwards. Typical French guy, huh? What can I study? Wine. wine. I'm yeah. gonna take a crate of wine, wine. with me. <clears throat> he's just... Hey! I love you! Turns Did up it. in the Caribbean. Yay! <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, this guy must be having a laugh, right? But do you know what? Fair play to him. Uh, you know, he did take along with him two bottles of wine, you know, for himself. Uh, one for New Year's Eve and one for his birthday, which is tomorrow. Yep. Uh, does this go out when it's I worked birthday? it out. It's going to be tomorrow. Okay, so happy birthday. Uh, now you're probably thinking, how on earth did he get the money to do these tests? Well, his expedition raised 60,000 euros, which was covered by the barrel makers and crowdfunding. Yeah, so actually, good luck, Jean-Jacques. Uh, we wish you all the best and a safe onward journey. Uh, we will, of course, try and keep you up to date with, wow, uh, with how his trip is going throughout the weeks uh, or possibly months, depending <laughs> on what we hear. And how drunk he is. Uh, yeah, so would you get in a barrel and let the waves just take you wherever the currents go? Um, I probably wouldn't. No. <laughs> um, did you give money to this crowdfunding? Uh, if so, why? <laughs> uh, let's have a chat about it in the comments. Uh, yeah, Thanks for watching. watching and safe, safe diving. diving. Yeah. It's kind of cool, but it's literally the definition of being not lost at sea, but adrift. Adrift, but in a, with some luxury. Yeah, yeah, a crate of wine. A crate of wine. He didn't put, doesn't have any food, just wine and crackers. No, he has, uh, what was it? He has like pate and like really nice. Like, <laughs> oh he, man, he really? He has decent food. I mean, he's what, 71 going yeah. 72? Yeah, he's earned this. Yeah, we. I want to do that. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.